Alrighty, here's our exit. We're getting off back at Elm Creek. We haven't been here in a few weeks, but today we're here for an exciting mission. And that is, we bought an abandoned jet ski shop. That's right, there's a small lake located in the southern part of Elm Creek. And this shop went abandoned a year ago. They weren't selling enough jet skis. So I think there might be some stuff laying around there that we might be able to sell and make some money on. So we're going to head down there, check out the property. Maybe there's some jet skis that still run. It's only been abandoned for a year. So hopefully one of them's got battery juice left. But if it don't, it's fine. We'll charge it up and we'll take it for a spin. So it's going to be a fun day today. Not just all boring abandoned things. We're going to eventually drive something. So... I'll meet you guys down at the lake property, and if you're excited for today's video, make sure to smash the thumbs up button down below. Alrighty, well actually we're closer than I thought. We are finally here to the southern part of Elm Creek. The lake is right on the left. We gotta cruise through the state park and then circle back around, and then we'll come upon this, I guess, jet ski dealership. It was kind of like a power sports dealership too, but uh, you know, it's a little bit of both. So here we go. This is the lake. There it is across the way. I see some jet skis, some things in the water too. So we might have to save some stuff, but uh, you got a nice little city park here. Some people actually live on it. So you can like rent out places. It's kind of cool. A little lake located in Southern Elm Creek. So let's circle back around and pull into the dealership here. And uh, let's check out what we're getting ourselves into. All right, we're about to pull up here. And uh, I also brought the trusty Ford Raptor along with us in case we got to tow anything. We got a trailer hitch. This thing is a beast. Okay, we've arrived. Check it out. We got some jet skis outside. There's some inside too, so those ones might run. It's all kind of like scattered around the property. But let's check it out. So this is the front entrance. It's kind of all backwards. All the ground is already, you know, made a big mess. I'm pretty sure there's a landslide. which kind of caused them to go abandoned here, so... This is kind of a mess. What do we got here? So just some jet skis sitting around. These are sea dews All right, here we go. Check this thing out. This is a sea dew GTR 215 horsepower. That's actually a lot of horsepower for a jet ski. We've got a couple different colors. We've got a red one here. They all come on some nice trailers too. Look at those. They got some like mudding tires. Oh my gosh, we could go mudding with our jet ski. Eh, maybe not. Uh, we got a giant dock here. So this is where you like park the jet skis up when you're not driving them. There's one located down on the beach, but that one looks pretty rough. Wow. Look at the condition. Just one year. Look, it's probably rainwater, hurricane, whatever, you know, rolled through here. Caused this thing to get rusty. And oh my gosh, it's just so much dirt. And maybe we'll try and clean it up. But underneath, it looks like it's some sort of like aqua color. So that could be cool. And then I think I found the trailer for it. It's over here. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's uh, about to go in the water here. We got another one outside. No cover on this one. And it's a mess. Oh, geez. But the trailer's in good condition. I guess just the jet ski didn't hold up. There's the Raptor. Check it out. And then this one actually actually might have been saved from this overhang. As you can see here, it's kind of covered by the building. And it looks like it's not too bad. It's not too dirty. That's probably what did it. It was this overhang. That saved this jet ski. And this one's a little bit of an older one. Not a sea dew This is a Yamaha. Maybe a 90s or 80s. It's an old jet ski. So maybe 30 years old. I don't know why they have that. Maybe just like a vintage they had laying around. But anyhow, uh, as we need to do today is clean this place up. So we're going to try and get the Raptor down here, probably circle around, pick up this trailer. We're going to get that jet ski off the beach, and then we're going to try and test them out and see if they run. And I'm pretty sure the one in the water doesn't. We try to fire it up. There's no running in that thing. So, all right, let's head on over. There we go. I don't want to sink the Raptor. All right, we make it through. Perfect. Let's back this thing up and get the trailer hooked up. We actually don't even have to drive around. We can just drive underneath the bridge there. All right, looks good. We got the trailer. Here we go. Just barely cleared it. Okay, what I think we're going to do is we're going to back up to this jet ski. And then it's actually got a winch on the trailer, as you can see right there. So we're just going to winch the thing up. It's not too heavy. It's about like 800 pounds. So it should be pretty simple here. There we go. We got it lined up. Let's back this thing on. All righty. Perfect. We got this thing set on the trailer. Let's tow it out of the water. Let's get it up here onto the land. Uh, we'll just put it next to the other one that's kind of messed up. I don't think we're going to be able to get any money for these two. I think the internal computer system's all fried from rainwater and whatever else. So we're just going to leave them here. There we go. Disconnect it. Okay. So we've got three other jet skis that might run. We got two in the showroom. So we're going to drive in there and uh, get hooked up and see if we can actually tow these things over to the water. Get them running because I, I do want to take a jet ski for a spin. We don't buy a jet ski shop to not have fun. Hey, how's that door closing? Oh, I think the uh, locks for the garage door are broken. So we'll have to go ahead and fix that. But let's back up. We're going to grab the blue one. Here we go. Throw the hazards on just in case. All right, right there. Okay, we're all hooked up. And yeah, this thing looks good. Okay, this one's in perfect condition. Look at how clean this thing is. And it's probably still got charged if they had it charged up before they, you know, closed doors on this place. 
We're gonna head on over right to the spot where we picked up the other jet ski. It's honestly perfect for a boat ramp. All it needs is some concrete, and this thing could be a public boat ramp. But uh, yeah, there's actually a dock over there we can explore. Kind of a small little lake, but you know, people do take these to bigger inland lakes and you know, oceans sometimes. So all right, there we go. That's enough depth for the jet ski all right let's detach everything looks good all right let's jump on let's see if this thing fires up i've got my kill cord here so what that does is when you you know pull it out of the jet ski the jet ski will turn off if you fall off so that's a nice thing all right fire it up oh it actually runs look at that we got an rpm okay we're idling at a thousand rpms it's not bad we've got 10 miles of range so that's good too let's go ahead and back this thing off it's gonna be a little bit tricky there we go let's push off all right, and there we go into the water. Got the stabilizer fins. All right, we're moving in this thing. Okay, there we go. And we're off. Look at this thing go. This thing flies, man. And as we drive, we do charge up the battery, which is cool. Because whenever you know are driving a vehicle, it is charging the battery at the same time. So that's pretty cool. We'll get this thing charged up, and we might honestly be able to sell this thing for some money. I want to keep one, though. These things are nice. I want to, you know, maybe use it in the summertime. There we go. Do a whole donut in a jet ski, boys. This thing is quick. All right, there we go. Another donut. Circle around this rowboat here. There we go. Also, what is this? Okay, I think they've got a pump system right there. There's also a little dock over here. Let's check it out. So usually people are just using like rowboats and you know other small boats, I guess you could say. But I don't think this is meant for jet skis. I don't know. It's probably just a test lake. Here we go. We got a campfire. All right, this is pretty cool. What is this called? No lifeguard. All right, that's fine. It's honestly not that deep. The lake is only like a foot deep, I think. It's, it's really... Not that bad. Look, I'm standing up right now, and yeah, I'm almost the same height as the jet ski. That's not bad. That's cool, but you just got to do a bunch of circles. It gets boring after a while. So we're going to bring it on in, and we're going to get this thing ready to sell. We got to test out the red one, though, too, to make sure that thing runs. Maybe we'll sell both. I don't know. We got, like, two other jet skis to test out, so let's get this thing on the trailer here. This is kind of tricky loading it up, but once you get up there, there we go. All right, let's tow this thing out of here. There we are. Pretty simple. Definitely a lot easier than a boat. A boat, you got to be very precise. If you hit anything, you could crack the hull and it would sink. So the jet skis, it's just a lot less problems to deal with here. So, all right, this red one is facing towards the wall. So we need to back this thing up. There we go. Push it out of the showroom. Let's get it lined up so that we can back the truck up to it. There we go. All right. This is good. And then we're going to go take this one just over here for now. And then let's go ahead and try and sell that red one. There we go. All righty. And we're off here. So let's head on over to the shop. We're going to try and sell the red one. I think this one runs. I actually started it up and it did run. So I guess that'll work. I mean, you don't have to start it in the water every time. You can kind of just test start it out of the water. So we did that. It runs. Let's go try and sell this thing for some money. In the city, there is actually a dealer that buys jet skis. So I'll meet you guys there. All right, guys, we've made it back with the jet ski to town. And here it is, Clever Motors. They buy pretty much anything with an engine. So we're going to pull around back. They're going to appraise the thing, and they're going to tell us what it's worth. There we go. Drop the trailer. And if we like the number, they're going to buy this thing. So, all right, it looks clean. We got it all clean still. So should help the price. I don't know. It might. Uh, we got the trailer here. Tires, extra tire on that side. So that's pretty sweet. This is a nice trailer, too. You got, like, the bumper guardrail, so it helps you to get on the trailer when you're loading up but all right the guy's gonna meet me out here and i'll catch you guys when we get this thing fully appraised yep yep thanks i appreciate it man okay we are done we just signed the papers on the office to officially sell this thing and they bought it for eight thousand dollars which is pretty good because i didn't tell you guys the price that we bought the property for I purchased that abandoned jet ski shop for $10,000. So we're almost making more money on this property and we still own the property. So, you know, it's pretty cool. Maybe we'll sell it back to the city. I'm not sure. But if we sell that other blue GTR 215, we officially have made $6,000 profit on this investment. So that's pretty good. I mean, that's a 30% return, almost a little bit more than that. So, all right, I'll meet you guys back at the property. We got to decide what we're going to do with that third jet ski that was sitting on the side of the building. I think we're going to keep the blue one. We sold the red one. Let's go see what that other older style jet ski is doing. All right, here we are. We're pulling back in. Let's get this thing hooked up. I want to see if it runs. You can't drive this one on the land. You can't try and start it up. It's really not going to work for it. So since it's a two-stroke, we got to put this thing in the water and see if it'll start up. It's probably going to smoke a ton too. That's what two-strokes are known for. But here we go. Let's back this thing in the water. We got also like ramp right over here. You don't even need a boat ramp. We've got all this space right here. It's all a perfect slope to launch boats and jet skis. And there we go. Looks good. Let's strap it. All right, get the winch off. There we go. Jump on. Let's see if this thing runs. Look at my feet. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Fire it up. Oh, there we go. I think it's running. What? There's no way this thing just started up like that easy. Let's back it off the trailer. There we are. And yeah, this thing runs good. Oh, it does faster donuts. Okay. 
This might be more fun than the other ones, boys. It is a two-seater, but look at this thing rip. Oh, we're drifting a jet ski. This is actually insane. I've never done this before. Whoa, this one's more fun than the other ones. That's kind of crazy. I see why they kept this thing around. Wow. All right, let's see how many donuts we can go in a circle around this rowboat before we hit it. One, two, three. It's still going, man. We're not going to hit this thing. Oh, this thing is awesome. Okay, we could do endless donuts. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Okay, we might actually have to sell this thing. Since the handle's so good, we might be able to get some, some money for it. I don't know. Let's load it back on the trailer here. Oh, a little bit more difficult to load on since we don't have those guiders, but it'll get on. Well, guys, that's pretty much it for today's Jet Ski Shop video. If you want to see us come back, reopen this place, you know, get it all fixed up. Obviously, it needs some landscaping work and a lot of other stuff. You know, maybe some seating areas. There's a lot we could do. Guys, if you want to see us come back, hit the like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.